Well, hello everybody. Well, here is the second part to my Hellcat nose conversion. Um, earlier, I still had my other fascia on. So I got it off and um, some other pieces off. So I just want to kind of show you what to expect. So here the fascia is off and that is the bumper beam. And that plastic absorber right there is what is on the other Challengers. Not talking about the Hellcat, but Hellcat gets this foam piece right here. So in order to make this fit right, you will have to pull this that plastic uh, absorber off and it's just held in with clips as you can see the slots right there in the steel beam that is where uh, the clips fit into and you can just squeeze them by hand and they pop right out and then secondly I can here I can show you this is the Hellcat nose right here and there's not a whole lot it's already subbed up like I say earlier in the first video I'm still waiting on some hardware for the bottom uh, grill but there's, there's really nothing to it. Um, as you can see, the harness and everything runs along the bottom. And then you have the absorber. And that's basically it. But if you come over here, here is my factory nose. And when I show you, get behind it and show you the difference, there's a lot going on with this nose. I mean, you've got the brake cooling. Uh, you've got different impacts down here. Um, here, let me grab a flashlight here so you can see a little bit better. I'm new to this, so just bear with me. Anyway, uh, so there's the brake cooling ducts on the SRT. You have um, some more plastic uh, molded parts that is for the grill assembly, but other than the bottom half, the top half is pretty much the same other, uh, other than the same, the different style. Now I said in my previous video that I wanted to keep my factory fascia complete. So if you don't buy the extra pieces, this is what you will have to swap over. And it is this piece here. And then of course you'll have to use your weather stripping now keep in mind you'll have to drill out all those plastic rivets and you'll have to uh, replace them now this hardware is not cheap at all and I looked all over and tried to find the best uh, source I could find and they, they were still pretty expensive so the only thing that I did use out of this fascia was the side marker lights. Now, eventually I planned on, plan on buying those and popping those back in, but not right now. And then on the wheel liners, this is the factory wheel liner, the SRT wheel liner. And you can see right there, that is for the brake cooling duct. Now on the Hellcat, that is the brake cooling. So you can see how much larger it is. And this area right here, that is straight across. Well, that, that part right there fits into that area right there. Okay, there's the SRT and there's the Hellcat. See how it's, how it's a little bit different? See how this is, this is uh, kind of squared off? Where the SRT, as you can see, it's rounded. This one, they're saying that that will work. I don't know how that would work. Um, like I say, I just went ahead and bought the pieces that was supposed to be with it. So uh, I didn't want to start cutting up things to make it work. This way I know it's going to work. These liners here fit exactly in the same spot as, as the SRT liners. They use the same clips. So uh, this way everything should fit together real nice. So anyway... Um, I just want to show you the difference in the back between uh, the SRT uh, fascia and the regular Hellcat fascia. So there is quite a bit difference. And with the wheel liner out, kind of give you an idea what it kind of looks like. There's your positive cable coming from the trunk and it runs up to your junction box right there. So. If you guys for some reason need to find it that's where it's at it's behind that wheel liner 
So, and there is the front of the Hellcat fascia. Uh, I will be installing it here as soon as I'm done with this. Like I say though, I will not be able to install the bottom grill until my part, till those uh, uh, fasteners come in. So, anyway, I, that was just a, a part two update. So, uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Have a good one. Bye.